shots out in Greensboro. He has some great shots of Lake Jeanette. Another one coming in after a great day of sunsets out there. We had some glowing clouds over the last couple of days and this what a beautiful reflection. Yeah, just a gorgeous day there. Want to watch Stuart here for those showers, those thunderstorms that really built up over the afternoon hours just to the north of Patrick County. And you can see those cloud tops in the distance. Doesn't that look ominous? Just sitting right over yeah, Uptown Suites there in Stuart and Patrick County. But those storms have not been able to really move south. You can see them also from the distance at North Carolina a t University. Also Big Elk and Creek. It has been really filled up lately over the last few weeks. We've got really good rainfall anywhere from five to six inches so far for the month there and now we are doing much better when it comes to the drought. So these are good things today to hear that we've got the drought dropping off for the mountains and the foothills still abnormally dry for sections of the triad and north, but we now need to see more consistent rainfall and especially get some more up north through Caswell County out through Yanceyville and Reedsville could use some more too. Tomorrow we're looking at some sunshine early, a few clouds before two o'clock and then isolated afternoon storms are possible with heavy rainfall that may develop in the southeastern triad areas. We're going to be watching for that. First though, we've got some fog out there. Visibilities may be reduced a little bit tomorrow morning at times, and then that fog lifts as we get you through the nine o'clock hour. That front is here stretched out just to our south and east and underneath it. We had some showers and thunderstorms earlier today and north of it. We had another area of rain. This was because we had a front also wash out in that direction, but with losing the daytime heating, we've got most of those fizzling at this hour. We do have flash flood warnings that have been up for folks in uh, Greenville. That's going to continue until 1 a.m. They were underneath that front today, and I'm concerned that tomorrow we may have have some similar conditions trying to develop for folks in the southeastern tribe. Right now, though, we're comfortable. We're at 75 degrees in Greensboro, 71 in Burlington, and we see temperatures today that hit near 88 degrees. That was our hot spot, 85 in Mount Airy. Clouds keeping temperatures down for the most part. I thought we have a little bit more clearing, but we didn't until much later in the day. By tomorrow morning, you'll start out with some sunshine and look at that front. It's going to sneak in here throughout the afternoon with some spotty thunderstorms. They're not going to be very well organized and same pattern develops again on Saturday here and there with those thunderstorms and they may be slow movers. We don't have a lot of wind to work with, so that's one of the reasons we're also looking at some heavy downpours from those thunderstorms. Tomorrow it's mainly that front that's stretched out and that light wind that comes in from the beaches. So it lifts that front in and that excessive rainfall concern is a marginal risk, but for folks across the southeastern tribe, especially cutting through Alamance County and parts of Guilford County too. Highs tomorrow warming from 56 degrees, nice and refreshing there to 79 in the afternoon for the mountains as we go from Sparta down the Blue Ridge Parkway. Warm tomorrow in the foothills at 86. We've got winds, as we mentioned, bringing in some beach moisture for us and rain chances that come up to 30% mainly after two o'clock. So if you're heading out to see the High Point Rockers, we've got temperatures at 86 degrees for first pitch at 635 in the evening. And also the Carolina Disco Turkeys will be playing at Truist Stadium. That's in Winston-Salem where the dash play 86 degrees and 80 degrees for late evening innings. Also Fridays at Klein, we're going to have a beautiful viewing. We're hopeful at least if it's clear enough to see. You'll they'll be talking about star clusters, nebula, galaxies and double stars at GTCC's campus. So they've been able to bring that back after the pandemic and we're looking now at those cloud cover conditions starting to improve the later we go. Let's hope that tomorrow you might be able to get out there to see something. You've got the foothills and the mountains also under impact days along with the triad as we go from Sunday into Monday. It increases the storm chances to 50% steamy and stormy and 90s returning Tuesday.